It's a carrot, guys, okay? Oh, you know what? We're using a blender. <laughs> It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today guys, we are trying out someone else's recipes once again. I love doing these types of videos where I try out someone else's recipes for a video so I can tell you what I think and I can also enjoy someone else's creations that I created, but you know what I mean? Anyways, so today's person of interest is Tabitha Brown who basically blew up on TikTok. I believe she is super famous on TikTok and she also is an actress, I believe. I don't know if she still is acting, but anyways, she's like a big deal, okay? And she is a vegan kind of cook type of person on TikTok. She makes a lot of different delicious looking recipes. So I'm really excited to try out her recipes. So I picked a few that piqued my interest, okay? So I'm gonna try out three of her recipes in today's video. So by the way, if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me, it's Cheap Lazy Vegan. Yes, I am like officially on TikTok, guys. I'm actually using it. It's become a thing. We're gonna have to just get used to it, okay? So today, guys, I thought I would try out her carrot hot dogs because I've always wanted to try out the concept of making hot dogs out of carrots. Yes, I know. It's a thing, if you've been vegan for a while, you've seen this, okay? You've seen this happen. And if you're anything like me, you are skeptical, okay? Because it's a carrot. It's a carrot. It's like when people try to make, you know, cauliflower rice, like that's not rice, that's cauliflower. But anyways, I still wanna try it. I've wanted to try it for a while. So I'm gonna try it and um, I mean, it's a carrot, it can't hurt, okay? So we're gonna try that out. And the second recipe I'm gonna try is going to be her mac and cheese, her creamy looking mac and cheese. Every vegan has their own method of making mac and cheese, okay? And I think, I'm sure they're all delicious, but I'm always looking to try out different methods of making mac and cheese. I'm gonna try out her method. And this is the one that's like really interesting to me. I'm also gonna try out her deviled eggs recipe, which I'm gonna have to film on a different day because I did not come prepared, okay? But um, I will show you guys in this video the deviled egg recipe that she makes out of like mushrooms and chickpeas and it's a whole ordeal. Anyways, I'm very excited. Let's give this a try. We're gonna start out with the carrot hot dogs. Okay, let me get my ingredients. So we are gonna get started with the carrot hot dogs. Her carrot hot dogs, yes, we're gonna make hot dogs using carrots. I know, it sounds weird, but if you're vegan, you've heard about this, and if you're anything like me, you are skeptical as all hell, okay? So, we're gonna take a pot. You know what, let's use a wok. They'll definitely fit in there. Okay, so first what you want to do is mix together the kind of broth. We're gonna make like a broth for the carrots to like simmer in, and the reason why I really liked the look of her recipe is because a lot of other recipes like they make you like marinate the carrots like overnight and ain't nobody got time, okay? I just wanna make it today and eat it today and be done with it, so there we go. So that's why I kinda wanted to try her recipe because she just boils the carrots in the broth and then you can eat it on the same day, okay? First thing, we're gonna have some water. I don't know how much water we need. I'm just gonna add one cup for now and then we'll add more if we need more, okay? So we have about one cup of water, we might add more later, and then she adds one cup of soy sauce or like coconut aminos. I have probably not enough soy sauce, so I'm gonna mix it with liquid aminos, which is like a gluten-free soy sauce. Yes, my friends. So I'm just gonna mix these two to create one cup. All right, guys, so let's add a cup's worth. <laughs> this might take some time. Okay. Sorry to Angela, my roommate. There's no more soy sauce. So now we can fill the rest up with some liquid aminos. So we're gonna add the one cup into this mixture. And then she adds about, I don't know, a few tablespoons of A1 sauce. Now I've not tried A1 sauce. I've, I've heard that it's kind of like HP sauce. I don't know what country this comes from. Maybe the United States, I'm not sure. Yeah, it smells like, I don't know, just a steak sauce. So I'm just gonna measure, I'm gonna do maybe two tablespoons of the A1 sauce. Again, I think you can just use like HP sauce or something. Okay, so two tablespoons of that. And then let's do two tablespoons of 
maple syrup. Now, Tabitha uses agave, but I ran out of agave, and I'm also Canadian, so Canadians representing, okay? So we're representing the Canadians we're using. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, although maple syrup's kind of expensive, so maybe use something cheaper. <laughs> we're gonna use that. I don't know what this is going to taste like. So far, I feel like we have a pretty pine amount of soy sauce. We're gonna add a couple splashes of liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. If you guys don't know, liquid smoke is basically liquid smoke. It's like liquid and it tastes smoky. You wanna add this into things that you want to give a smoky flavor. There you go. And she says she just added a couple splashes, so we're gonna do that. This is quite like potent if you will, so you don't need a lot. This I actually found in the barbecue sauce section of the grocery store, so I would recommend looking there if you're looking for liquid smoke. And now she also added a little bit of ketchup, so you know what, let's just do two tablespoons. I have a love-hate relationship with ketchup because the bottles are so annoying. Anyone else agree? I don't know. They always like splash out too much ketchup. Okay, so. And she also added, of course, garlic powder. I feel like this is like her thing and it's also my thing. Gotta love me some garlic powder. We're gonna just kind of eyeball a tablespoon. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to whisk it. I don't know why there's floaties. There's some floaty, floaty things in here. <laughs> and then what you wanna do is bring this to a boil. So we brought this to a boil and now you wanna throw these carrots in for about 10 minutes. All right guys, so it's been boiling like this for about 10 minutes and now I have to cover this up and boil for another 10 minutes. So there we go. All right guys, so it's been 20 minutes total, 10 minutes with the lid off and then 10 minutes with the lid on. It's kind of reduced a bit. It smells very like soy saucy very strong i'm gonna poke i feel like it needs to be softer what do you guys think i mean i don't know maybe it'll work you know what i'm gonna do another five minutes with the lid closed just to make sure that it's cooked because some parts are just not going in as smoothly as i would like so let me cover this up again and let's do another five minutes all right guys so we have now been ooh, it's like really reducing it likes to reduce. There's a lot of reducing going on. I think it's pretty much done, guys. So now what we want to do is you want to take a pan. She used a, what did she use? A cast iron skillet. I do not have that because I'm not a professional cook. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my regular pan here. And I feel like I don't need to grease it, so. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look as sexy without the, uh, the beautiful cast iron skillet situation, but it's looking nice and caramelized. So now guys, you can prepare your toppings for your hot dog. So I have here a hot dog bun. How do I? Hot dog bun. Ooh, this one's like really soft. Mmm, fancy. I and I think I broke it. <laughs> Why? Now I know how to use a hot dog bun. There we go. It's a little fragile, my friends. It's not my fault, okay? And another topping I'm gonna use is veggie ground. This is the Eve's veggie ground, yes. This is the Italian kind. Yeah, it's, uh, it's caramelizing or burning. It's charring. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna turn this off. Let's remove these. I'm gonna use, this is all burnt. Is this even a good idea? So I'm gonna take a plate. We have here hot dog bun, which I think I opened correctly. I'm going to add this carrot dog. I mean, it looks kind of like a hot dog, doesn't it not? So, carrot dog. Like, I kind of want to try it on its own like this, but we will add some more stuff. So, I kind of want to heat this up, but I also don't know if I should use this pan, but I also don't want to get another pan, so this is gonna have to do. I'm gonna add some ketchup into this. I feel like it needs some ketchup. I don't know why, but I feel like it does. And we're gonna, what am I doing? I'm gonna add a little water to this, because it seems to be uh, 
obviously you don't have to add this but I also feel like I need some protein and this is kind of high in protein because the problem with these guys the problem with these like carrot dogs is that it's just a carrot in a bun so you're not getting any protein really not much protein anyways so I'm not gonna be full if I eat a carrot in a bun mm, okay let's add this into our carrot hot dog oh my god Maybe I needed more veggie ground. That's like a very sad amount of veggie ground, but you know what? We'll add more toppings. Okay, come on. This ketchup bottle does not like me. Ah! There we go. Let's also add relish. Big fan of relish. Mm. I'm gonna add some mustard. Mustard bottles also don't like me, so no. Well, that's ugly. The final touch banana peppers. Ooh, we're just gonna. Ooh, oh my gosh. I'm just more curious about what it tastes like. Ooh. Look at that carrot hot dog. Is that real? It's time for the taste test. I added lots of things in here. Let's see what it tastes like. I mean, mm. here's the thing, it's tasty. It's very tasty, but I'm tasting like all the toppings. Let me taste the carrot. The carrot tastes like a carrot cooked in soy sauce. <laughs> but with all the toppings, it's tasty, you know? Mm. If you eat everything together, it tastes like a hot dog, right? The carrots are a little crunchy. Crunchier than, you know, a hot dog would be. All the toppings, delicious. I'm gonna have another bite. <laughs> it's a carrot, guys, okay? Vegans, I love you, but this is a carrot. Not a hot dog, but it's good. <laughs> So the next recipe I'm gonna try from Tabitha Brown is going to be her creamy mac and cheese. So I feel like every vegan has their own kind of like special way of making mac and cheese. It's like a big thing to make vegan mac and cheese. It's a thing, okay? I've never had so much mac and cheese until I went vegan, which is funny. So anyways, I'm gonna try her recipe based on her TikTok. Now this one's gonna be a little bit more challenging because she doesn't have any like measurements, but it's gonna be more fun. So first, I'm going to boil some water, and what we wanna do is take some butternut squash. Now she uses, ugh, I believe she uses fresh butternut squash, but I'm just gonna use frozen because that's all I have. This big like lump of butternut squash here, it's been sitting in my freezer for some time. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, and then we also have some potato. I have one potato. I'm just gonna chop it up into smaller pieces and then we're just gonna boil it. So we wanna basically boil both the butternut squash and the potato, but because I'm using frozen butternut squash and it's pretty much ready to go after you thaw it out, I'm just gonna cook up the potatoes first and then I'll throw in the butternut squash at the very end when the potatoes are almost done cooking. So that's the plan. So we got some water boiling here and we're just going to boil the potato. Woohoo! Okay, so now that's cooking, potatoes are cooking, we're gonna let that cook <laughs> and in the meantime I'm actually going to cook up the pasta okay so let's make some pasta we're using shells because that's what Tabitha used yes and I'm just gonna make one serving so I'm very particular about um, measuring out my pasta I don't know if I'm the only one but I always measure out the serving so usually it's 85 grams Eighty-five grams of pasta shells. So we're gonna cook this up. All right. So what Tabitha does is she also adds the seasonings while the potatoes are boiling. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna add some garlic plus seasoning. She uses garlic and herb, and I feel like that's this is probably the same thing. Okay. Let's just add that. I don't know how much she adds. We're gonna add like a generous amount. Maybe like a teaspoon. 
half a tablespoon. So again, we're just gonna wait to add the butternut squash. So let's just bring this to a boil. Let this boil until the potatoes have cooked and then we can add in the butternut squash. All right guys, so I poked the potato and it seems to be almost done. So I think it's time to throw in this big block of frozen butternut squash. I'm just gonna throw it in, okay. Ooh. I think it's working. All right friends, so it looks like it's cooked. I think she normally would drain it, but I'm actually gonna keep the water and you'll see what I mean, okay? I'm gonna keep it because we're gonna need to add veggie broth later anyways and I have a veggie block cube. So instead of using veggie broth, I'm just going to use whatever the water is in here plus some veggie broth cube. Yes, so let's set this aside. On the pan, I'm gonna add some butter. Vegan butter that is. Um, I'm gonna use a, maybe about a tablespoon of vegan butter. Okay, I'm changing things up a little bit. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Maybe I should remove some of the water just in case. I'm doubting my, my thought process. So we're gonna add this mixture. Ooh. All right, next thing she adds is some plant-based yogurt. Yes, I'm using this President's Choice Cultured Coconut Milk Yogurt in Plain. This is my new favorite plant-based yogurt. It is very tasty and it works so well. It actually, I've been using it as like sour cream for like tacos and it's so good. So we're just gonna add, I don't know how much she adds. Let's add like a quarter cup, pretty generous, a third cup-ish. The next thing guys, she's gonna add some nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna add a pretty generous amount. I'm pretty generous with my nutritional yeast. That was probably like a quarter cup, third cup. I don't know how she mashes this guys. Like she didn't seem to use a blender. And I'm gonna use a fork to mash, but it seems a little difficult. Using a blender. <laughs> we're just gonna use a blender because ain't nobody got time. Use a blender. We're gonna mix this. Um, you can, I think, mash it with a fork like Tabitha did, but you can also blend this mixture. Yeah. Alright, guys, so I'm just gonna blend this quickly in a blender. I'll be back. Alright, you guys, so I blended it up. I'm gonna add it back to the pan. Ooh! So I'm just gonna add about a quarter of a veggie broth cube. I feel like I should have just blended it up. <laughs> Definitely should have just blended that up. It'll melt, it'll, it'll blend. And she also adds a ton of vegan cheese. So we're gonna do that too. But if you wanted to keep it like super healthy, you could probably just eat it like this. Okay, so next step, we're gonna add some vegan cheese. I'm just gonna use what she used, which is Deya. This isn't my favorite vegan cheese, but we're gonna add it anyways. I'm just gonna add a bit some of the Dea mozzarella, but I actually have it in the stick format. Just gonna break it up. And of course, you gotta add some garlic powder. Generous amount, maybe about a tablespoon. And then I'm just gonna let that cheese melt. Ooh. I'm gonna close this up and let it cook a little bit. Okay guys, so this is the cheese situation. It's looking nice and fabulous and bubbly and delicious and thick. And it looks promising. I don't know, what do you guys think? It looks, it looks delicious. So um, I have the pasta finished here. I'm just going to throw it in here. I would throw it in there, but I feel like this is more than one serving. So, okay. I think this makes, whatever I just made, made about two servings. So, ooh guys. Ooh, look at that ooey gooey goodness. Okay, let's mix this up first. Don't wanna over sauce it, you know, save that sauce. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of paprika just for the aesthetics. Look at that. Parsley! Guys, I just added parsley, not paprika. Now we're gonna add some paprika. So, <laughs> that was parsley. And now we're gonna add paprika. Yes. Ooh. All right guys, so here is the delicious looking mac and cheese by Tabitha Brown, made by me. <laughs> and I'm gonna give this a taste. All right guys, so now it is time to try this. It is time for the taste test. It looks super legit, it looks really delicious. And can't wait to try it. 
it's good. It definitely needs more mm, salt. I think I didn't add enough, but it's tasty. I think that I also could have added more vegan cheese. She added a lot of vegan cheese and I didn't add as much, but it's really tasty. It's creamy. You know what else I would add? Cashews. Mm-hmm. Mm. Add that in with the potatoes. And then when you blend it, blend it all. And it would like add uh, a creamier element. So there you go, guys. There's Tabitha's mac and cheese made by me. Yay. All right, you guys. So it is a new day. <laughs> it's a new day and we are going to test out the final recipe by Tabitha Brown and I could not do this video without making her deviled eggs. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever actually had deviled eggs, so I'm not sure if I can tell you if it tastes exactly like it, but either way, it looks and sounds delicious. So we're gonna make the vegan version of the deviled eggs by Tabitha Brown and I'm very excited. So the last time I couldn't do this because I was unprepared. This time I am prepared, my friends, I am prepared. I have a jar of pickles. I bought pickles for this occasion. I took some out because I needed to soak some white mushrooms overnight. So I soaked the caps of white mushrooms, which I will show you. So I had to take a bunch of pickles out and um, there's a bunch of these lovely white cap mushrooms. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the egg white portion of the deviled eggs, like the bottom part, and then we're gonna stuff it. It's very exciting. I'm just gonna leave it in here for now while we do the other part. So this part is gonna be the most labor intensive part, which is basically processing the chickpeas. Yes, and then mixing together the ingredients. It's a very easy recipe actually. So first I have here a can of chickpeas, which I've drained and rinsed. So I'm gonna put it into the food processor and then I'm just going to process it so that it's nicely mashed. So let's do that now. So now we have a food processor. We have the chickpeas in the food processor. So let us do this process. Start. And voila, that's it. Beautiful, perfectly mashed. All right, so now we just put the chickpeas in the mixing bowl. Here we go. So now, first step, mustard. Let's do about a tablespoon of mustard. Next, um, she seems to add quite a bit of vegan mayo, so we're gonna use the Hellman's vegan mayo, which I love. I'm gonna say approximately two tablespoons. Yeah, she didn't provide measurements, which is totally fine. Maybe about two tablespoons. Yay. All right, next up, some relish. Again, I'm gonna probably add about do I need two tablespoons? I don't really know. Let's stick with one for now and see what happens. You can always add, but you can't subtract, okay? Next, of course, we need garlic powder. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna add, I don't know, free pour, a tablespoon of garlic powder. Mm-hmm. Okay, fantastic. Next, guys, we're gonna need some black salt. This is going to give your mixture a bit more of an eggy flavor. This has like a sulfur taste, and when you mix it into other ingredients, it really kind of gives the essence of egg flavor. So we're gonna add some of this. I mean, if you don't have it, I don't think it's necessary. I'm sure it'll still taste really good, but if you want that eggy flavor, then I recommend trying to find this. So I'm just gonna add some of that. So now I just simply stir. Is this like the yolk part for deviled eggs, I think? I don't really fully understand what deviled eggs are. <laughs> I don't like the smell of black salt, but like it tastes good when you put it into things. Oh, I mean, that looks pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty decent. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a little taste and see if I actually... Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, I forgot to add dill. So that's one thing I didn't add. I'm gonna add some dill. Mmm. Maybe like half a tablespoon or something. Okay, and I'm just gonna add some pepper as well. Ooh. Okay, let's mix it. Mmm. I mean, wow. Look at that mash. I mean, this would just be good just to put it on sandwiches and stuff. All right, now we can just put it to 
together. So we have these white mushroom caps, which I've been sitting in my fridge in this pickle juice overnight. So let's just place some of these on here. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what Tabitha did was actually she added black salt into the pickle juice as well with the mushroom so that it would soak up that kind of eggy flavor. I forgot to do that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black salt just on top of the mushroom caps. So let's just do that just a little bit. I feel like we don't need too much since this is already quite uh, eggy tasting. All right, and now for the fun part, all we have to do is stuff these babies. Not very, okay. I don't know how much to stuff them. Hmm. This would make a really good party treat appetizer if we're having parties still, which we're not. I've seen people, like I've seen non-vegans eat this and say that it's like really good. So I'm excited for that. Now guys, all we have to do is top with some smoked paprika, which I don't have. So instead we're using my Korean thing, which is gochugaru. So this is Korean chili flakes. Um, it's kind of like the powder version of gochujang, if you guys know what gochujang is. And um, I don't know, it'll just work as a, as a paprika replacement, I think. Ooh, very nice. I'm, I'm impressed thoroughly already. There we go. I mean, that looks decent. That looks decent. I'm really excited to try it. So I'm also gonna add some green onions on top just for the aesthetics because I feel like um, it'll just look prettier, you know? Ooh. I mean, that looks delish. guys I think it is time to try one of these bad boys oh my I'm so excited anyway this is one beautiful vegan deviled egg situation now let me taste it I don't know if I'm supposed to bite it mmm very nice and pickly the mushrooms are delicious it goes really well with the chickpea mixture Again, I don't know what deviled eggs are supposed to taste like, but this just tastes good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm thoroughly impressed. Mmm. This is definitely my favorite. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. Highly recommend trying this out. It's really simple, really easy, very, very cheap. And um, that literally took very little time. So highly recommend trying this out. It is so delicious. And let me know, for those of you that know what deviled eggs taste like, why don't you try this out? And then let me know how much it actually tastes like deviled eggs because I have no idea. But either way, it's delicious no matter if you're trying to compare it to deviled eggs or not. It's a really delicious little snack or a little appetizer. All right, guys, so that is it for the trying out Tabitha Brown recipes video. I guess that's what we're gonna call this, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, th those were the three recipes I decided to try. All of them really good on their own, and this one is definitely my favorite. So yeah, that was so fun trying out her recipes. Don't forget to check her out if you haven't. I mean, most of you probably know who she is, but yeah, she's on TikTok and also on YouTube. I will link her accounts down below so you guys can definitely check her out. She has some really awesome recipes. She has a really fun, energetic energy which i love so yeah you will definitely love her so yeah definitely check out her recipes she has some really unique ones as well so maybe i'll do another one of these because she has so many recipes so yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and if there's anyone else that you want me to eat like or try out their recipes let me know in the comments down below i will see if i want to try out their recipes anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye